Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a food review for you today. This is Jimmy Dean's Breakfast Balls. This is the Meat Lovers edition right here, the Meat Lovers Breakfast Ball. So, um, in terms of preparation, it says right here, cook uh, for two, high on two minutes. I put it in for two minutes and 10 seconds, and uh, it says stirring, and then cook on high for one minute or until thoroughly cooked. Uh, I didn't want to take any chances, so I put in for an extra minute. So I put in for two minutes instead of one minute. So, uh, rip off the film. This is what we got ourselves here. Breakfast bowl. Yeah. Look at all that goodness. All them potatoes and eggs and bacon and sausage and ham and... Well, not ham, but yeah, my bad, no ham, thankfully. Actually, I'm glad there's no ham. I'd rather not have ham. So basically, sausage and, and bacon, my two favorite kind of meats for breakfast. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to have a bite out of this breakfast bowl here. We got ourselves a very nice assortment of flavors here, the bacon, the sausage, the egg, and the potatoes. They go well together, and uh, also separately. Overall, I just really think it tastes good. I'm digging this, and the cheese as well. I think, yeah, I think it tastes good. What exactly is good about it, just mixes well together. Uh, the flavors themselves are good, the potatoes are good, eggs are good, sausage is good, bacon is good. I was afraid that some of the stuff is starting to stick to the bowl, so I'm mixing it around a bit more. Trying to make everything go around a bit. Now, when it comes to breakfast food, it doesn't hurt to also have some seasonings as well. So, I'm going to get some salt and some pepper. Got my salt and I got my pepper. Oops. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That was a lot of salt right there. Mix it up a bit so it all evenly distributed amongst the different foods as much as I possibly can. Alright, I think that's good enough right there. So, I'm gonna try some more right here. So, I think the pepper and the salt help as well. I have the salt and the pepper here in the bowl. You can see the little pepper, oops, whatever. You can see the little pepper flakes right there. Um, it definitely helps, it definitely adds to it. So I would definitely recommend doing that as well. I would possibly consider using some hot sauce as well. And uh, yeah, some, uh, some other types of seasonings like Creole or uh, Steak and Shakes. Um, the steak and shake season they have at the restaurants, some other stuff as well. I would definitely recommend trying it out for yourself and getting some more. The one thing I would say, my least favorite thing I would say is the potatoes. The potatoes feel lifeless at times, which that's just a personal thing of mine. Like usually I'll add ketchup for the potatoes. Uh, potatoes are not really my biggest for, uh, thing when it comes to breakfast foods. I'm more into like the eggs and the, and the meats and the like, sausages and bacon. Potatoes are alright though, I mean like, I think as long as, I mean if you have something like some kind of sauce or extra seasoning on the potatoes, I think you're better off that way too. So yeah, give it a, give this a shot, give this Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowl a shot and uh, see for yourself. I would recommend getting it and I'd feel free to put whatever seasonings you, norm, you normally put on your breakfast food on this stuff as well. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked this video. Check out my other channel as well, Twilight City Studios, where I produce my own films, I produce my own videos, I do behind the scenes videos for a film I'm working on right now. So give that channel a chance and uh, subscribe to both this channel and that channel. Thank you for watching and more videos will come.